Now here, we have some missing number multiplication and division problems. But these first two questions aren't really missing number problems at all. That's because all we have on this side of the equal sign is an answer box. And it doesn't matter whether the equal sign comes at the start of the calculation, like it does here, or at the end of a calculation, like it usually does, we do the same thing. So 6 times 6 is 36. Here, again, we only have an answer box on this side of the equal sign, so we just do the calculation. 63 divided by 9 is 7, because 7 times 9 is 63. Now, we have 7 times something equals 42. Whenever we have a missing number in a multiplication problem, we can use division to find our missing number. So we can divide 42 by 7. That's 6. So our missing number is 6. 7 times 6 is 42. Now we have something times 12 equals 108. Again, because it's a missing number multiplication, we can use division to find our missing number. And 108 divided by 12 is 9, so 9 times 12 is 108. Now we have something divided by 11 equals 9. Now remember, division problems can be read backwards as multiplication problems. So to find our missing number, we can multiply 9 by 11. That's 99, so we know that 99 divided by 11 must be 9. Now here we have 56 divided by something equals 7. So in this question, it's the divisor or the second number in the division that's missing. And when we have a missing divisor, we still use division to find our missing number. So we need to divide 56 by 7. That's 8. So our missing number is 8. And we can check 7 times 8 if we read the question backwards, is 56. Now let's take a closer look at some of these questions. What times 12 is 108? Well, we solve this by dividing 108 by 12 to get 9. So we know that 9 times 12 is 108. Now what we can show to represent this is a multiplication triangle. So we have 12 and 9 at the bottom and 108 at the top. And from one triangle, we can infer four different facts. We know that 12 times 9 is 108 and 9 times 12 is also 108 because if you multiply the numbers on the bottom in any order, you get the number on the top. Now we also know that 108 divided by 9 is 12 and 108 divided by 12 is 9, because if you divide the top number by one of the numbers on the bottom, you get the other bottom number. Now we could show this on a number line by counting in jumps of 12. So if we keep on jumping in 12s, the ninth jump will take us to 108. So 9 is our missing number. Then we had something divided by 11 equals 9. We know that division problems can be read backwards as multiplications and 9 times 11 is 99. Again, we could show a multiplication triangle with 99 on the top and 11 times 9 at the bottom. So from this triangle, we know that 11 times 9 is 99 and that 9 times 11 is also 99. And we know that 99 divided by 11 is 9, and 99 divided by 9 is 11. And we can show what we did here by counting up in steps of 11 until we get to 99. The ninth jump of 11 will take us to 99. So 99 divided by 11 is 9. Then we had 56 divided by something equals 7. Now because it was the second number or the divisor that was missing, 
we still use division to find our missing number. 56 divided by 7 is 8. So we can show a multiplication triangle with 56 at the top and 8 and 7 on the bottom. From this we know that 8 times 7 is 56 and 7 times 8 is 56. We also know that 56 divided by 8 is 7 and 56 divided by 7 is 8. Now to show this calculation on a number line, we can count on in steps of 7 until we get to 56. And because the 8th jump takes us to 56, we know that 56 divided by 8 must be 7.